Welcome to Museum Wise, a guide to London museums and beyond. Watch in VR to see in 3D. It makes a difference. The British Museum receives 6 million visitors a year from around the globe. A museum of the world, for the world. It can be a long way to travel, and that can build up quite an appetite. But where to eat when visiting? Here are a few possibilities. Within the museum itself, there are a number of places for food and drink. Once you've come in through the main entrance, take a left and go west past the cloakroom in room 12. At the end, you'll find the Pizzeria, a family-friendly restaurant that offers, well, pizza and salads and desserts. You get the idea. The Great Court is the geographical hub of the modern museum, and here a number of eating spaces are available. To the northeast is the Court Café, where you can grab a bite or even bring a small picnic. This also extends to the northwest corner, where you can support the museum through cake. That's what we do, as the museum has always been free to enjoy. The central rotunda has two impressive staircases either side, leading up to the refined dining space that is the Great Court restaurant. An excellent place to have afternoon tea in the heart of London, in one of the greatest cultural institutions of the world. Going back down the stairs on either side, you'll get a commanding view of the Court Café. On the western stairs, you can also spy the Members' Room, an exclusive space for British Museum members that also serves food and drink. Once down the stairs, you'll be back near the main south entrance of the museum. Circle round the Great Court, and next to the quieter north entrance, you'll find another café area serving hot and cold drinks and light snacks back through the Great Court once again, and don't forget to visit the shops, offering a range of books and memorabilia. Giant Lewis chessmen, sadly not included. Heading out towards the front entrance, and you'll pass the Grenville Room, a place for higher-end purchases, including clothing, jewellery and artefact replicas. Outside on the forecourt, you'll find food trucks offering burgers and hot dogs. This is another space where you can consume your own food and drink. The museum itself isn't the only place to eat. Located in the middle of Bloomsbury, there are many other places nearby. Here's just a few of them. Directly opposite is the Museum Tavern, a mid-19th century pub with historic interiors, offering real ale and hot meals. Further along the street to the west is the Tea and Tattle, located inside the Arthur Propstein bookshop a traditional tea room offering leaf tea and bone china. To the southeast of the British Museum, you'll find the London Review Bookshop, which also sports a coffee house and two entrances. Like photography, the Camera Museum on Museum Street has a coffee shop in the basement. If you'd like something a little more al fresco, there's Russell Square, just east of the museum. A nice place for a picnic in the summer, and where I used to eat my lunch. In the park, you'll also find Café Trapier, family run since 1981. And to the northwest, just outside the park, the Cabmen's Shelter, offering coffee, hot food, takeaway sandwiches, and other light bites. A four minute walk northeast from Russell Square, and you'll find the Brunswick Centre, a 1960s retail and residential space which offers a host of places to eat and drink including a large Waitrose supermarket for those picnic essentials. I hope you found this short tour useful. Do check out more at museumwise.info. I'm Paul McLean, and thank you for joining me.